Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Advanced Animation Application. Today, we're going to be learning how to animate a root motion animation. So, some sort of montage, maybe it's an attack animation. Or something like that, that is going to propel the character forwards with the animation. So, I've started a new Blender session. Firstly, we're going to destroy basically everything in the session, including the default cube, rest in peace. We're gonna go Shift A to add a new Mr. Mannequin template. Then we're going to select this armature and we're going to go over here. We're going to just enable the IK bones. And then we're going to go to the animation tab up the top. We're gonna move this off to the side. So we're gonna go to our action editor and we're going to click new action. This one's called tutorial root motion. You can call it whatever you want. So to begin, what we're going to do, we're going to press A to select everything. We're going to press I and we're going to set location rotation. So now we have a keyframe. Now the thing that separates this kind of animation, a root motion animation from a regular in place animation is that there is motion in the root bone. So if I press T to get my tools up, or transforms, I don't know what T means. Um, you can see this yellow bone here is the root bone. And this root bone is the root of the skeleton. It's the first bone, in, it's the top bone in the hierarchy of the, the skeleton that we're animating. So you can see if we were to move it forward, um, because our IK targets haven't moved along with it, you can see that everything's moved except the IK, you know, is pointing back in that direction. So I guess what we could do in that case is, you know, select everything and move everything forward. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set auto keyframe on. I'm going to go to frame 30 and I'm just going to move this whole character forward like this. Uh, and then I'm going to set location rotation for all of the, the bones. Um, so you can see our animation now is this. Let's just do, let's just make him do something other than that, just for a bit of, <laughs> just for a bit of clarity about what we're, what we're doing. So let's just make this guy chuck a dab. Easy. All right. So now we've got, he chucks a dab while he floats forward. We'll now go to object mode. We'll just select this. We're going to go File, Export, Mr. Mannequin FBX, Actions, Export Action, Sample Rate 1, Not Start End Keyframes. I'm just going to smash this out to my desktop. I'm going to click OK. So, first thing to do, we're going to grab our animation. We're just going to chuck it in here. We're going to assign it. Ooh, we're going to assign it to the skeleton that we're using, which is the Unreal Engine Mannequin Skeleton. So you can see that our animation is working correctly. These ones over here are just IK roots. They're not really necessary for most cases. So we know that this is working. We're going to right click it. We're going to go create any montage. We're just going to leave that as it's called tutorial root motion montage. And we're going to go into our old player character here and just somewhere we're going to go on press play montage. And we're going to select our tutorial root motion montage. Play rate of one, starting position at zero, starting section, doesn't matter. And the skeletal mesh component we're going to play it on is the mesh of the character. So we're going to hit play. Uh, we're going to press O. And he does the thing, but you can see he ends up back at the position that he you know, was at. So if we were to show the capsule of the player during play, during that animation, you can see that it doesn't actually move. The character isn't actually moving. So what we need to do is in the animation file, we need to go enable root motion, bam. And you can see when we play it now, it looks like it's an in place animation, but it's actually moving forwards. So now you can see if we do it, we press O, that our character actually moves along with the root motion of the animation. So that's kind of the extreme basics of how root motion works, how you animate 
the motion into the animation. Now we're gonna actually look at how to make it not look like complete garbage. Right, well, I just spent 15 minutes uh, and made a fatal error. Uh, basically, long story short, don't move the hand and IK root target bits. These ones, don't touch them. For what we're doing, just <laughs> don't touch these. So what I've got set up here now is a little extrapolation of what we did earlier. And that is we're moving from here to here, but we've got a fat dab in the middle. Um, so we've got this, we've got this, and then halfway in between, we've got this. And so you can see the root is just moving that whole time. So from here, what we're going to do, we're going to look at a little technique that I call foot locking, which essentially is going to kind of lock our feet in place and make it look like our character is stepping. So he dabs like that, and then he's going to get up and do that. So I think what we need to do first is make this foot step. So this foot here, we're going to copy its pose, control C, and about maybe frame 15, we're going to keep it where it is by pasting it in. And then here, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to get frame 30 where we want it to be, as well as this bit here. And we're going to put that at frame 15 so that it is where it needs to be. Also, I'm going to actually put that down like that. So essentially what we've created now is a step. You can see this one goes to its target location first. And then the other one starts moving. This is, this is how stepping kind of works. Just by copying and pasting the location and rotation, obviously, of the IK targets, we can create steps. So I guess the next step from this is, instead of making it slide along the floor, we go to frame eight or something, we move this up a bit, rotate it this way, and then a few frames later, usually like the frame before the actual contact with the floor, or maybe two frames, uh, no, we'll go, we'll go the frame before contact with the floor. We're going to tilt it up so that it hits the heel first and then it kind of snaps down. Although that looks scuffed as fuck. Uh, so we're going to actually move that back a frame like this, so... Yeah, maybe move it up a tiny bit. There we go. Okay. Next thing is this foot here. Obviously at frame 30, this foot needs to be right here. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll go to frame 45 and we'll keep it there. Whereas this one needs to be here. So we're going to copy it and paste it at frame 45. So you can see we've blocked out these, these steps just by locking the IK in place. There you go. So this is how we do stepping when we're animating root motion. Uh, so I guess what else we could do is do the same thing to this foot. Where in the middle, we'll go uh, about here. This should be up a bit. We tilt it down. And then just before it hits the floor, we can lift it up a tiny bit and tilt it backwards. Bam. Uh, now for this finish off, we might actually not want it to like fully lift up off the ground. We might just like kind of, I guess like tilt it forward and kind of drag it along the ground a bit, you know, like that. So I guess what's next is the pelvic movement. Uh, we might actually at this point want the pelvis to go up a little bit because he's like, you know, he's, he's moving forward. So we move up. I think what we want to do here is select everything and we actually want the recovery to be a little bit longer. We might even grab this and copy this pose and paste it about five frames later. So essentially we get this freeze point. Uh, we'll make that not look stupid in a bit. Okay, so next up, these hands, we don't want them to do that so gradually. Kind of looks janky. We'll actually just put these back down here, kind of by his side, getting ready for the fat dab. All right, now to give this dab a bit more impact, we're actually going to, so the dab happens at frame 30, but I think what we're gonna do at frame 20 
We're going to actually move them over here. There's a little bit of uh, anticipation, a bit of counter motion. Uh, and we're actually going to like counter, counter this as well slightly. So it's like a really vicious dab. And then because we've done a double frame here, uh, we're actually going to just do this. And just make sure this has a bit of movement. Okay, and then I think what we need to do is just... I'm just going to hurry this along. I've spent way too much time doing this, so we're just going to go... You know, just... Uh, so about here, the pelvis should be, you know, here. Um, these hands should definitely be moving along with the pelvis. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, the pelvis can move independently from the root. But if you move the root, it moves the pelvis. Cool. All right. Final touches. Let's just grab the head look at. We'll grab the spine targets. We'll grab this. We'll just select all of them and chuck them on unclamped. So automatic. There we go. That looks uh, <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> There we go. All right, so the next thing to do is to <laughs> export this thing. <laughs> so we're going to go object mode. We're going to grab this thing. We're going to make sure that our yo mega dab is selected. File, export. So we're going to export that to desktop. We're going to go back to our session and we're going to import yo mega dab into here. We're going to select the appropriate skeleton. We're going to go into the animation. And we're going to go to the root motion section. I'm going to click enable root motion, hit save. And then we're going to right click the mega dab. We're going to create an anim montage. I'm just going to leave it the same name. And then in our player character, we are going to play that montage when we press O. All right. Okay. So here's our fella. He's running around, he's doing his thing, whatever, whatever. Now, if I press O, you can see he just chucks a fat dab. And if we show the capsule of the of the character, and we do this, you can see the capsule moves along with the animation. So that's root motion animation, kind of, you know, how to... Uh, the main thing is really just the footstep method of, you know, copying and pasting the location, depending on, you know, each action and that kind of stuff. I hope that kind of gave you some ideas of, you know, how you could do attack animations and that kind of thing by blocking out the really big, you know, motion first and then filling in the gaps with, you know, the footsteps and that kind of stuff. If you have any questions at all, you can join our Discord server in the links below. It's full of very lovely, helpful people. And if you want to go one step further in supporting this channel and all these tutorials and stuff, there is a link to a Patreon in the description of the video, and you can subscribe to that Patreon for as little as $1 per month. So with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>